So we are going to talk about something called PHP data objects. That is going to be our remediation path to SQL injection issues, vulnerabilities. So if you look through this documentation, you'll see that the PDO is exactly what a structured approach to database querying should look like for PHP. We now have this um, database object and it's getting the username and password and it has the connection string to the database. So we're getting database and then from the database, we can execute a prepared query. So see here, it's showing kind of what a query might look like. But then there's another part to this that the documentation is not clearly showing, which is that we would be binding to variables inside the query from outside the query. And we can look at the code to see what that looks like. So see this original query, we're just doing concatenation. But then if you look at the second version, you will see that after we instantiate our data object, which would be separate code that, like I said, we're not covering here, uh, we would have the same query select star from posts, but instead of message being interpolated, like cut into here, we have the symbolic representation of it. And then when we execute it, we take this message here and we bind the value of message to it. And this message is going to be something that we assign off of the post message. And that's actually something that we might want to scrub even further just to get rid of escape characters and get rid of any kind of um, ticks, uh, single or uh, back ticks or double ticks that might be escape sequences in evaluation just to make things safer further. And uh, between these two things, when we execute this, we will avoid what our threat here is, which is SQL injection.